Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. Today we're going to study a song called The Twelve Days of Christmas. I think this is a good song to study because of the repetition. I'm not a huge fan of the original song, probably because the lyrics don't really mean much to me. A partridge in a pear tree. A partridge is a kind of bird. I don't think there are any partridges in New Zealand. Or maybe I've just never seen one. In Wikipedia it says, Partridges are native to Europe, Asia, Africa and the Middle East. Partridges are ground nesting seed eaters. There are many parodies of the song that you might enjoy and because of the repetition I think it's a good way to learn new vocabulary. There's one by a model called Janice Dickinson and if you watch that one you can learn the word fledgling. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a fledgling modeling agency. Fledgling. A person, an organization or a system that is new and without experience. And if you listen to the parody by Boy Mongoose you can learn the words insufficient and dowry. Insufficient means not enough and a dowry is money or property that a bride gives to her new husband when they get married. On the first day of Christmas my true love gave to me a totally insufficient dowry. Kia ora, Instinct News today. The First Lady of France has been awarded 40,000 euros in damages after a company sold a bag featuring a photo of her naked. Carla is a 40-year-old former model. According to Wikipedia, in the 1990s she was among the 20 highest paid fashion models. In February this year she married the President of France. Since then a clothing company produced 10,000 bags featuring a photo of the First Lady naked. The photo was taken in 1993. Carla sued the company and they've now been ordered to pay her damages. Reuters reported the founder and manager of the company said he would appeal because 40,000 euros seemed expensive for a small blunder. And that was Stick News for Friday the 19th of December. Kia ora. Today's snow report comes to you from looking out my window late at night. You can't see any snow because it's too dark. This is the car park and these are the lights at the entrance to the car park. Today's word is nosy. It can be spelt with or without an E. Adjective, informal showing too much curiosity about other people's affairs. One of the lines in the parodies I mentioned today is two nosy in-laws. In-laws are your relatives by marriage, especially the parents of your husband or wife. Do you have nosy in-laws or nosy workmates or schoolmates? I found an article online called How to Cope with In-laws During the Holidays. This is what it says. Tolerate nosy in-laws by answering only the questions you feel comfortable talking about. Avoiding dangerous topics can help, but plan ahead with your spouse so they can take over if you start feeling uncomfortable. What's the difference between outlaws and in-laws? Outlaws are wanted. What's the difference between being nosy and being interested? Yeah, true. What do you mean? How can you tell the... Yeah, that's a good question. I guess it's a matter of opinion. I think it could be something to do with what the person plans to do with the information or why they want to know.
Well, if they want to know just because they want to pass the information on as gossip, then that's nosy. But if they want to know because they care about you and they hope that you're doing well and if you're not, they want to help you, then that's genuine interest. I think it's usually pretty obvious. What did my true love give me on the fifth day of Christmas? Five gold rings. What did my true love give me on the fourth day of Christmas? Four collie birds. What did my true love give me on the third day of Christmas? Three French hens. What did my true love give me on the second day of Christmas? Two turtle doves. What did my true love give me on the first day of Christmas? A partridge in a pear tree. And that was the Daily Englisher. See you tomorrow. Bye.